diverse background, but I, I'm told we only have five minutes to introduce ourselves. So I'll get real straight to the point about my top 10 game art portfolio tips. Ready? <laughs> Number one, less is more, right? Recent replaces old. 15 items is the sweet spot. More than one image per project creates a better sense of the scope. That means 15 products on your main page, but if you click, you can hyperlink deep dives into your process, you know, with additional images of each project. Uh, stills and turnarounds present in different media, um, you know, show on uh, medium appropriate platforms. So you can have a demo reel on YouTube and an art stations page full of stills and you get the best of both worlds because you never know where they're going to come looking for you. Um, process documentation. Number two, you, that was all number one, by the way, this is top 10. Number two, you're judged by your weakest piece. Write that on your pillow and look at it every night before you go to sleep. Number three, shoot for one level above your current skills, not two levels above your current skill level, one level above your current skill level. So shoot for jobs that you are, think are slightly beyond your scope because if you're not challenging, challenging yourself, you're not growing as an artist. Uh, admit your deficiencies when you write your cover letter and stress your capacity and willingness and desire to learn so that they know that you're a lifelong learner. Um, Number four, cross credit collaborators with their contact info. You have to make referrals. It's an industry of who knows who, and most jobs aren't even posted in the wand ads. You have to know somebody that works at the company. So if you have a lot of links on your demo reel to other artists that you collaborated with, guess what? You're telling them that you represent a community of other skilled artists that you know that you could bring on board in the future if they hire you. Um, number five, concept is more important than craft unless it's a grunt level job. You probably don't want a grunt level job. So you want to show that you're thinking about your art and you're not just making it technically perfect, but you're creating something with thought behind it. Uh, so find the style in the subject. Uh, number six, presentation is everything. Fewer clicks at the top level, but a hyperlink deep dive into the process is okay. I think that was part of number one too. I cheated. Number seven, tailor to your career objectives because your work pigeonholes you. So if you don't want to work in anime, don't have a reel full of anime and vice versa. If you only want to work in anime, make sure your reel is only anime. Um, number eight, be both a generalist and a specialist. And it is okay to have more than one portfolio uh, because you should target your portfolio for the place you're applying for. And if they don't do dragons, don't show them a bunch of dragons. But if they do do dragons, they probably want to just see dragons. So get a dragon portfolio with Wix.com. You can make a portfolio in like 10 minutes if you've already got the content to import. So make a dragon portfolio if they want dragons. Uh, number nine, be yourself. Number 10, have fun. 